So hello, welcome back to another video. Today we've come out to do my now annual mushroom macro photography video. Um, when I arrived at these woods, I did wonder if I'd maybe left it a little bit too late because I didn't really see anything growing. I saw a lot of dead things, things that have been trampled and half eaten, but not a lot growing uh, until I came across the big boy that you saw in the opening clip of this video. And my intention is to head back there a little bit later on and we'll take a photograph of that. I am think I might use the Helios for that instead of the macro lens, but we'll see when we get there. So my first plan is just to come into the woods and see if we can't find any sort of smaller mushrooms growing on the forest floor, which I have some down by my right foot. So we'll, we'll set up and we'll start taking photos of them. Um, looking at them, we're probably gonna need to a little bit of gardening, but yeah, I can live with that. So let's get stuck in on this very nice autumnal day and do some mushroom macro photography. Okay, so this one was a little bit fiddly to set up. I had the mushroom that I wanted to take a photograph of against all the deadfall, all the leaves and all the mud and everything. But the problem was it was just too, it wasn't popping off. The colours were too samey and it had no light on it. So let me explain quickly what I have done. All right, so you can see what I've done here. So the mushroom on the left hand side of the frame is the mushroom that we're taking a photograph of. So I grabbed a load of the old fern leaves that you can see in the background there just to give the mushroom something to pop off against and then we're using the led light just to illuminate the side and the underside of the mushroom where the gills are just to give it a little bit of light and shadow and some texture so let's show you the back of the camera and we'll go ahead and we'll take this photograph so here is the camera we're at f8 a sixth of a second and iso 100. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter? So as you can see here, we've got quite a large mushroom going off the trunk of this tree. And I quite like it, so I thought we'd uh, try and do something with this. So we'll put the macro lens back on the 5D. We may have to get a bit further away, and it might not be one-to-one -one macro, um, purely because of the size of it and the 105mm focal length and the macro lens. So I might have to get a bit further away, but that's not a problem because we can shoot this a little bit wider up and it might give us a nice blare of background and really make the tree and the mushroom pop. I've got a spider crawling on my hand. So yeah, I'm gonna figure this out, we'll get the camera set up, and I'll pick up back with you once we figure that out to take a photograph. Okay, so because this mushroom is growing on a tree, which is obviously a vertical, I've decided to do a vertical photograph. So we're just gonna follow the line of the tree vertically through this, and I've placed the mushroom or fungus or whatever you will call this one squarely in the middle of the frame. Now I'm shooting this at f5.6 because I really want to blare the background out and really just give the mushroom a little bit of a pop off of the tree and I've also focused right on the top of the mushroom rather than the rim because that's where all the texture is on this one. So let's have a look. Let's go. So sort the exposure out. 5.6, a 125th of a second and ISO 100.
All right, so I've come back to the big boy mushroom that I saw when I first arrived here. Um, I really want to hurry up and get this done because over my right hand shoulder, about there is a, well, it looks like it's going to get wet pretty quickly. So I think we should hurry up and get this photograph taken. So I'm going to use the Helios for this. I want to get that Helios swell for this photograph. And the Helios, it has a, a very short minimum focus distance anyway. So we should be able to get quite close and quite punched in and really sort of swell and blare the background out wide open at F2. So uh, yeah, let's get stuck in before I get wet. All right, so here we go. We've got the tripod on the deck. Done a bit of gardening, do a little bit more, just get rid of some of the grass and the leaves out of the field of view of the lens. Um, again, I'm using the Helios here, so the 5D really doesn't like the Helios. So I'm trusting the histogram over the light meter. So we're at a 500 to the per second, F2.8 and ISO 100. Here's the photograph, I'll show it to you. That's it for mushrooms this year, so thank you very much for watching. Um, the sky is starting to fall down, so I'm going to get myself back to the car before I get drowned completely. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really does help the video out and it brings new viewers to see my content. And you can always hit the subscribe button somewhere down there and you'll see more nonsense from me every single week. And there's some really big things falling off the trees in there in this wind. This might be fun. Peace and goodbye.